fucking Whitney Cummings sucks. Oh. Someone finally has to say it. Well, you know what? Good morning, everybody. Hi. I, I hear she's a good stand-up, but those fucking commercials suck. Are we running them here? Yeah. Are we? No one seems to uh, enjoy them as far as the listeners go, but I think they're uh, effective, uh, very well put together. Yeah. And uh, I enjoy listening to them here on Sirius XM Satellite Radio, Opie and Anthony show. Do you? Yeah. All right, then I'm talking about the TV commercials. There. Oh, okay. I, I just uh, you fucking just did that. a... What, what is it called? I did a workaround. You I fucking workaround. hate the Whitney Cummings TV commercials Work for her sitcom. Around. Oh. I hear she's a nice lady. I hear she's a funny lady. I, I don't know her stand-up. But that show looks like it's a piece of shit. Thank you, nice lady. Is she is she a tough bra that doesn't take any guff from the from the guys? Yeah. Oh, look is out. that what's going on? Look out. Are we allowed to play the TV commercials of the Whitney Cummings show? Here's the internet. Uh, TMZ is putting them in front of their videos and stuff. Oh. Uh, why would they do that? Let's see. Well, I got to start over there, Sam. You started mm -hmm. it way before. Oh, I was boy. Ready for you. Let's do now this. it's an ad, so who knows if it's going to pop up. I've just had it with this. Who would watch this shit? Let's go to another video. Let's see that. Now we can't get an now ad. Now we to can't come up. get the ad. <laughs> Why? What did you do wrong? I didn't do anything What'd wrong. What did you do wrong? There's Hoda. This is I don't hysterical. Need Hoda. He's trying to yeah, get, we an can't ad. get an ad. For the first time, we can, <laughs> we can only get videos. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Wait till we get to the Neil Sean story. Yeah, I love <laughs> oh my that God. one. God. Oh, and uh, the news anchor that mocked uh, Kim Kardashian. I'm obsessed with Kim Kardashian. What did the, that guy do? He just started, he made faces and made fun of her uh, shoulder pads. And, oh, really? And, you know, her little, like, whiny voice. But he didn't go crazy. Oh, uh, he no. didn't go crazy. Not worth playing? Uh, it's not see. good audio. Right, give like, me the Whitney Cummings uh, TV commercial for her new uh, sitcom. That looks, that looks terrific. And poor Jim Norton can't oh, get his show. Oh, God. Jimmy can't get his show oh, made yet. Forget it. And Whitney Cummings gets a fucking show. Yeah. On, you, you on what network? Go to YouTube and get it. Yeah, NBC or something? Commercial. Yeah, it's on NBC. Holy shit. <sighs> she did something about wearing a, a jersey for Law and Order because she's a fan because guys wear jerseys for football or something. I, That's hilarious. Come on, stop, right? I got the chills of the douche variety. Mm, yes. When I saw that one. Uh, is this it? Yeah, All right, let's go. Should be. Let's see how funny this is. I don't understand why women use the silent treatment on their man. No, the silent treatment is not a punishment. It's a reward. This one, see things way. Want to make him miserable? Hey, hey, keep talking. Talk about your emotions. Tell him you think you look fat. At your period. Look out. Thursdays after The Office, this fall on NBC. Is this would show you, on would yet? You, would you fuck her? Uh, no. No? Not really. I'd, I'd rather fuck uh, Cloris Leachman, who's coming Let in today. It. Wow. I'm going to try to make nice. out with Cloris Leachman that's, today. Uh, that's, a, that's kind of out there. What? Because I'm looking at her going, look. You she's think she's not, hot? No. Oh, okay, But good. she's definitely. She's not ugly. If you were in a bar, you know. What time, though? Uh, We're all in a bar. What I time? Could, I could push her up to to midnight or one. She's a midnight have, broad. I don't have to go to. Show me a four a.m. broad, uh, Sam. What? Give me a four a.m. broad so we could kind of like. Uh, I don't have to. Huh? Gauge this thing. You'd give her twelve. You'd give her midnight one, but you start yeah. a little later than you, most, don't you? Nah, I start a little early. What time are you in the bar? What time we leave here. So no, that's a little early. Actually, if I go out to a bar, I haven't been out to a bar. But I'm just forever. saying, you'd hit but, the uh, bar around nine, and, yeah, and yeah. you're looking to maybe have sex with her by midnight, eight thirty nine, and then by by yeah midnight one. Okay. Um. Uh. I yeah. I I I'd be doing all right. Where I'd be like, all right, Whitney. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think she's. Uh, oh my god. That's four a.m. Uh, oh, god. that's not a four a.m. <laughs> that's a, you fuck. That's a fucking. You've been Mars. Is on that a four a.m. broad? <laughs> That's that's I need fucking crack and that's, I'll do anything. Yeah. You've been on Broad. a crystal meth bender for <laughs> right. fucking five days. Oh man! No, uh, that's not going to be a four a.m. Oh. That's about a four a.m. Oh broad. wow, she's all cockeyed. No, why? That's a four a.m. broad. The eyes are too far apart and they're a little cockeyed. Yeah. but she's got the blonde hair. She could trick you with the she could with the famous you. beer goggles. And you, you know what? Yeah, teeth. if if you're not seeing good, you know, you're not seeing well because you're uh, mm -hmm. you're drunk. 
the facial features might morph into something good. Yes. Like one of those paintings of the ship that you see in 3D. Yeah. If you're looking at her right, all of a sudden her face pops out and it's like, ah, that's not bad. That's true. But, uh, but oh, oh, to wake up. Oh, <laughs> That's God. not a 4 a.m. broad. She's wearing a shirt that says, you can't afford me. <laughs> and she's got the big frizzy uh, poodle do on top and then the mullet straight hair. Uh-huh. What's in your energy drink? I don't know. Stuff you can't pr- what is that, Sam? I don't have time ads. for this shit today. Can we get another Whitney Cummings uh, commercial? Let's see why not. Yeah, because I... I I'm, I'm not talking of... about the commercials here on XM. No, I'm not TV. talking about those. No, no, those are uh, I'm not, spectacular. They're, they're fantastic because everything Sirius XM does is fantastic. And not one thing bad. I'm talking about the TV commercials. Right, let me look. She's got like a... There's something going on. They're really pushing her down our throats, and but, I don't know. Uh, I, it's not going to work. This one's not going to work. Yeah, this ain't going to wash. Not at all, especially because you, you're seeing way too many commercials. That means they know they're in trouble. But as far as a, a, a throwing her a fucking boning, I might have to be in. Is this another one right oh, here? This is, this is, I've seen this one. So it's an ad this before the ad? It's the ad before the ad. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ads are here. It is. It's an ad before the ad. What? Is that what they're doing now? Wow. What's the ad before the ad? So you want to see the Whitney videos, like the commercials, there's a 20, a 30 second ad. For something else. For looks like some vodka. Vodka. Loosen up with a little vodka. Kettle one. I love the guys in the kettle one commercials. They're all wearing suits and ties. They from their successful jobs, they're at the bar with chicks, they're high fiving each other, just drinking that kettle one. Time for some kettle one. Time. Truth of the matter is, you're just drunk. Right. Are you gonna wear a hoodie to a wedding? <laughs> Why that kettle? Your overalls in the wash? Why that kettle? Okay, I almost froze to death at Nick and Rachel's wedding. You mean the one that was in Mexico? <laughs> Why that kettle? <laughs> Women get cold. Hey, I'm enjoying Why this. Why are they getting laughs from this man. drivel it's, shit? It's fucking weather humor. Got a hoodie on? <laughs> a hoodie on? <laughs> What's funny about that? Oh, wait, yeah, go back and, okay. and stop it right after the line. What the fuck? Let's really you assess stop at these every lines. Line? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Wait, you're going to wear a hoodie to a wedding? Stop. So, they're, wow, man. That wit. Must, TV must be so easy to do. You just get a laugh track. Hey, wit. You're going to wear a hoodie to a wedding? <laughs> it's usually more formal weddings. Oh, is that what it is? That's right. All righty. All right, it is. <laughs> what were your overalls in the wash? <laughs> All right. Overalls are even less formal than hoodies. Less formal. So that would be ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, but funny? No. But the but the biggest problem with the whole scene, yeah. she's dressed nice and you could see her actually at a wedding looking like that. So where is the joke? Yeah. Yeah, it's Where's not the working. joke? And who's this guy? Cuz what you don't see is it's not a hoodie like we all know, like a fucking I'm 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 just fucking hung over and I just throw yeah. a hoodie on and I'm wandering around. It's a it's a designer hoodie that you can barely tell has a hood on it. Who who's this guy with the fucking the George Michael grub. That's her man. And the fucking... That's the man. I don't know what kind yeah. of hair that is, but that ain't going to hold up. Yeah. Ten years from now, you'll look at that hair and go, wow, what was he thinking? Like the Bieber hair. All right, let's hit this again. More jokes? <laughs> okay, I almost froze to death at Nick and Rachel's wedding. You mean the one that was in Mexico? <laughs> Mexico's warm climate. So that's why that's funny. Women but, get so cold. What? But meanwhile, uh, nights in Mexico, it being... Uh, somewhat of a desert environment. Nights in Mexico can get a bit chilly. Maybe it was and, the wedding was at night. And he didn't say what what uh, uh, month the so wedding now, was now in. I'm concerned for Whitney. That's he, not he funny. He just said That's no, no. She should turn around and go, "Hey, dick bag." <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking cold. And what's your problem with this? Three t- snappy one-liners you're getting uh, on my ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hit it. Were the groomsmen wore shorts? <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. She has a problem with fucking uh, keeping her body temperature at the yeah. proper temperature. Well, the groomsmen wearing shorts doesn't sound very fucking formal to me. Was exactly. he giving them shit? That's like wearing a hoodie to a wedding. Exactly. <laughs> so it doesn't make any sense. Right. Just lost the premise in 16 seconds. <laughs> 16 <laughs> exactly. seconds. The whole thing's been fucking chiseled apart. Well, he's trying to, like, hammer the point home that it was kind of warm that day yet. By the way, yeah. this, this clip is a minute and a half, and we're 16 seconds in. Uh, we can, oh, we, we, we're I gonna can't make wait. It. We're going to okay. make it to a minute and a half. Okay. How dare you? 
You know that I have bad circulation, and it got worse after I got laser hair removal. <laughs> Didn't have the hair to walk. I, I don't even understand uh, that uh, one. Because, what does does because we're not cavemen anymore. Yeah, like just, none of us have enough hair to actually keep us warm in cold climates. Hair. I don't get that joke at all. And maybe Dr. Steve can give us a little insight <laughs> on how laser hair removal will fuck up your circulation. Yeah, sure. Thus making you cold enough to need a hoodie at a wedding. If Plus she, you have to if go she, through so many treatments. If she was bald, then maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe that would fuck up her body temperature. Well, I'm sure he'll have a witty, snappy comeback for that anyway. Let's see. For you. <laughs> All right, come on. We really got to go. Okay, fine. But I won this. <laughs> well, she's got a, and he's what? got a thumbs up. Like, she won the argument. Well, she's got to tell, uh, well, she's tell the piece of shit uh, boyfriend there that, hey, Dick bag. I'm fucking. I'm the king of the castle. He's calling him dick bag. He's a dick bag. She sucks. King of the castle, Alice. Do our friends know her? God, I hope not. I mean, from what I've heard behind the scenes, and I'm not mentioning names. Yeah. There is not one person I know that likes this bitch. Really? And has done nothing but trash, bad okay, mouth her, and at least make like ugh faces when you bring up her name. Well, it's just another shitty sitcom by the network. A shitcom, they I mean, call that. I would shitty be, sitcom. I would be embarrassed if I was a network executive and, and you're throwing this shit at the people when you know something like Louie's going on on FX. I know. It's It's archaic. embarrassing. This is archaic shit. Hit it. <laughs> okay. What? Wait, you can't wear white to a wedding. <laughs> Enough about the wedding wear. Is that what the, is that what this whole thing's about? She just took off her little overcoat hoodie, whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. And she's wearing what appears to be a very conservative, nice white dress. And it's off white. It's not even a white that people would go. <gasps> oh, she's distracting oh my from God. The, the, the bride or something, right? It's Plus, some kind of off white shit. The hoodie was small and unzipped. You'd think you would have noticed the color of the dress before she took before the she off. took it off. No, but he's no, not that had, smart. They had to get through the hoodie humor yeah. first. Yeah, oh, yeah, you, you get through the hoodie jokes. humor, and then now, you remove oh. the hoodie, and now you go to the dress humor. Now oh. it's dress wearing humor. white to a fucking wedding. Okay, that's a no no. <laughs> Let's see what her answer is. Can someone nudge the writers? Just to see if they're <laughs> at least uh, conscious. Maybe dead. <laughs> Maybe dead, right? Maybe dead. Go ahead. Come on, it's got a pattern. Yeah, a white pattern. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I guess that's yeah. another white joke because the first one worked so well. And yeah. and and hold on, the delivery is great. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, a white pattern. The delivery was really good. It was good. It was terrific. Yeah. Uh, that's such a stupid rule. What, does the bride think the groom's going to get confused and marry me by accident? Why is that funny? Because she's walking away like, oh, no, I got to go look for something. So she's like, ah, ah, ah. she's all pissed. Yeah. Wait, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really understand. I don't know. But it's I, like, that's I, such I, a. I don't, I, don't, I don't really understand. The groom one. wouldn't do that. So no, that's almost no, like no. The only ridiculous. time it would be a problem is if you showed up at someone else's wedding in another wedding dress. Right. Besides that, who gives who a fuck? Cares. And what guy is, like, that's something girls point out. Right. Like, the girl says to another girl, you shouldn't wear white to right. a wedding. Like, a guy's guy just, like, just don't uh, even know when, that. When are we going? We, Come we on. Don't, we don't even know that rule. Make no. it snappy. I don't, I don't know that rule. No. I really don't. Do now, thanks to Whitney. And huh? guy, yeah, thanks, Whitney. Yeah. Guys don't even notice what color dress anything is. Dick bag knows. Dick bag gets let's it. Hear, let's hear what his <laughs> snappy little uh, repartee is. Getting married is so dumb. Just because your parents each got divorced three times doesn't mean that all marriages are bad. Half of all marriages end. If half of all planes crashed, would you continue to fly? <laughs> Fiery plane wrecks. Fiery plane crash. I like the stat. That's kind yeah, of... Um, that line almost... It's not funny. It's interesting. Yeah, that line almost works. That almost works. It it's almost like, works. Makes you think. If we're going to be fair... Because it makes you think. But that's yeah. a line that almost works, and there's a t 10 that the writers and the network then killed because they threw the <laughs> laugh track in, in there. And I don't he hear that one getting as big a laugh as the fucking hoodie, hoodie thing did. Well, because, you know, people actually die in plane crashes. So let's, ah, let's give it a subtle a laugh real. track. Let's not get too crazy with yeah, the laugh track yeah. on this line. All right. People are sensitive out there. Go ahead. This is so much faster than driving. <laughs> 
All right, now she's in a yellow dress. So, yeah, oh, boy. Yellow dress. What's the she's, problem with the yellow she's dress? She's got to be zipped up, it looks like. What's going to be the problem with the yellow dress, you, you think? Look, you look you like, look like a banana. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. Oh, great. Right. Now you'll look like a banana at the wedding. <laughs> 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 you know what's scary? I think that might be the line. I have no, no idea. No, I don't know, but... I don't either, either. I have a weird say. feeling that you just nailed the Some line. Some type of banana... Uh, what else could it be? Tweety Bird, um, Big Bird, Big Bird, uh, uh, Banana. Something else. I think it's banana. Some kind of banana. I think they're joke, going for a banana maybe. joke here. Let's see. Sit me. Is this new? No, I just hate it. I feel like all we ever do is go to weddings. I can't remember the last time I sat down to eat without a DJ telling me to get this party started. <laughs> Well, no, uh, no joke on the yellow dress. I, I've never even noticed a DJ at a wedding. No, I eat. I sit there. I don't give a shit. If he's doing his nonsense saying. and I want to eat my fucking uh, steak, I'm going to eat my fucking steak. And usually steak. they know when people are eating, so they don't sit there and try to get people dancing while the food's being served. Yeah, they actually try to clear the dance floor and then don't say anything. And then just and play so some mood music while you're eating. Then everybody's done after the cake. Then they open the dance floor back up. Right. Generally speaking. But she's been to so many weddings that she doesn't know that this uh, is what happens. All right. Hey, is there a... Uh, go ahead. Just finish the clip. I guess it's just about done. Right. Right? Okay, phone, Got it. keys, Got purse. Not that whipped. <laughs> <laughs> Not that whipped. That means grab your own purse, Get bitch. Your own purse. in the end, I'm the man. I ain't fucking <laughs> grabbing your purse, bitch. Yeah. She's like, thanks a lot, dick bag. Dick bag. <laughs> hey, dick bag. Uh, when was the last time you watched a sitcom on the network? <laughs> well, Modern Family is good. Yeah, but they're. I don't really watch Modern Family. I, I've seen it a few times, and yeah, it's all right because they're doing something a little different. Yeah. I'm talking about this type of sitcom oh, yeah. that you've seen a million fucking times. It's the exact same sitcom that has been in place since what? Uh, the 50s. Honeymooners? 40s. Yeah. I'll watch anything with that uh, Medea guy uh, in it. Tyler Perry? T anything that says Tyler Perry's. Nice. And then there's a title. I can't You're even. You're all in? It. I am so all in. You must love TBS. I turn on TBS all the time <laughs> because uh, I can just shout out horrid racial epithets oh, at man. every turn. Oh, I didn't say I enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm just saying it keeps yeah. me in practice. Is that clip available without the laugh track? <clears throat> no. Oh. I mean, that would be a dudderoo. Yeah. Yes. So, fuck, I, I've uh, had it with these What is there, a couple of seconds left? No, that yeah, was it. No, there's four seconds left. Maybe they squeeze a joke in. Yeah, it could be. Should we check? He goes, I'm not that whipped, and then she grabs the purse, and I think what? walk out the door and a little bit of music, like, and then an establishing shot of the wedding. How, how paranoid do you have to be that this is a minute and a half clip? There's probably 12 jokes in here in yeah. a minute and a half. I mean, well, 12, 12 laugh tracks. jokes yeah. in quotations. Yeah, they're trying. All right, I, and you think they squeeze one more in with the I four seconds that are? I think it's worth checking. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gosh, just a little music, in. and then they'll give the establishing <laughs> shot of the church. It says, "Want more? Want more? No, nah, I'm good. I'm yeah. good. Do I you think th I'm, I'm full. full. I'm full on that minute and a <laughs> I'm half. I'm full up. Do you think they were confident when they were performing that without the like? They had to perform it without the laugh track, so they had to actually think like. You don't knew. think Whitney is filmed before a live studio audience? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't hear the announcement. I think, uh, I mean, she's a comic. Yeah. So she's got to just sit there going, holy shit, this really sucks. But the the money they're paying me. And, her and name... I know they're going to pump it up with laugh track, so I'm good. But her name is on the show. It's not even like she's just hired as an actress. <coughs> it's her, it's supposed to be it's her, not her show. show. It's not now, her show, now, Sam. Now there's an ending. It, uh, that's a whoopty saying, hopefully the last four seconds... All we hear is Allah Akbar and then an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney and, and Dick Bag get fucking blown up before they leave for the wedding. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Let's go to Ken in Jersey. <laughs> Kenny, let's go. Hello. Hey, what's up? Hey. hey um, you really need to dissect her, uh, like her acting. It's like the Steve C. School of Acting. When she said removal, she was like, removal? Check that out. No, that would that would mean we'd have to. No, watch no, it we're again. never going back there again. We'd have to watch it again. No, thank you. Anyway. Look, when when, no. when I know people put in multiple tours over in Afghanistan and Iraq, but I really think they'd rather be home. Yeah, no, they don't want to go back to the horror and 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 terror I mean, of of that. I mean, we could do another clip really you got fast. It. Well, you know what? Oh, you got we, one more. We oh, yeah. could. 
Let's do one more because maybe more. we're the With assholes. Me. Maybe we're not getting it in. You know maybe what? that was a bad clip. Opie, open mind. Let's go into this with a bit more of an open mind. All right. Do we have to watch a commercial before the yeah, commercial? Yeah, end? yeah. That's and, the, and is it going to be the vodka guys? The same vodka oh, guys. The vodka Look, there's guys. people standing Answer online. Here. They walk right in. Well, they're, and then, they're part yeah, of the cool crowd. They're going through the kitchen. And now there's some jazz band playing. And then, oh shit, the, the bitch behind the bar who is hot as fuck is pouring the kettle one. For everybody. All the fucking <laughs> hipster guys uh, and, and, and suit business guys, they're, they're drinking their kettle one straight up, motherfucker. They're not pussies. Straight up. Well, uh, I've got a couple rocks in there on the rocks. Ah, uh, well, let me a tell you something. Rocks. They're, uh, they're men. All right, here we go. One more. A little more Whitney. Hey, the name Wait. of this clip? Yeah. It's Sexy Nurse Time. Oh, oh shit. shit. How, how long is this clip? This clip is a minute 50. Minute, oh my God, almost two minutes. I'm going to guess they go for 20 jokes in a minute 50, which is just, wow. which is just not possible. It's first of all, anything not real. you do. It's not real. Right. You don't just start pumping out jokes yeah. at, at a rate of uh, 20 per fucking two minutes. I'm going to go 20 jokes in this minute 50. So let's go. How many hoodie jokes? No hoodie jokes. Okay. She looks good right there that from the back, that ass right oh, there. She's all right. Dude, I don't know. I'm kind of seeing something. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. Check her out. Let's something go. Just hit me. Hi, hon. Hello there. Are you here to uh, see the doctor? All right, hold on. <laughs> She's, he just came in. Dickbag just came in. I guess they live together. That's right. Are they married? Are they married? I don't know. Boyfriend, she's just talking girlfriend? about her stupid weddings were. So maybe she's yeah, not married true. yet. I think they're just like living together. But she somewhere. she blew her line. Of course she did. She stinks. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't they redo that? She went. Uh... Uh, uh, she's dressed in a one of those generic sexy nurse outfits Ooh. that no girl really ever fucking puts on Co unless she's got an enema tube ready to shove up some creeps asshole. Is is that's not a turn on to you? Could be the unsexiest thing that's <laughs> supposed to be sexy. No, it's more. It's the nurse outfit. No, there's one more that's uh, unsexier. Let me think. One more. Don't say the maid. Oh, yeah. You think the maid is unsexier than the fucking The French hospital? maid. Because, no. Because no. It's not, no, because it's not based on any type of reality. It's, just, it's like old, a girl could oldie day look, maid. A, a girl could look really hot in, in the, that nurse outfit or the French maid outfit, but it, it's, it's just, it's, it's Halloween. Spencer yeah. gifts costumes, but you don't like, think like they're they're trying to role pl people try to role play. So all of a sudden their wife comes in with the French maid outfit on. It's like no fucking maid dresses. Like I got So I, just get some lingerie on. I gotta disagree with you here. The nurse factor means something's wrong with you. You're ill. There's a nurse at the house. <laughs> that brings the fucking sexuality down right there. That's the maid. It could just be some fucking chick that's dressed like that and she's cleaning your house. You come home and go like. Oh, she's cleaning my house. It doesn't mean I necessarily have fucking cancer or, or something where a nurse is but, at my house ready to administer something. But both take you out because n th neither one is based on anything even close to real. But nurse, not even close as sexy. It's the thing that's supposed to be sexy that's not sexy. French maid, I understand. It's ludicrous. It's hack. It's stupid. But put next to it uh, the sexy nurse. Right. It's like, because all it invokes, that's a person that wants to stick something in your asshole uh, and pump water up it. That's what the nurses That's do? That's what the nurse does. That's what the nurses do? The, the maid takes the little feather duster. And shoves she that bends, up your ass. No, no. She bends over and starts dusting off your table and then looks over her shoulder and goes, Oh, monsieur. You, you want to fuck me, You miss? are home a little early? <laughs> and, and she's got like the little panties on. The nurse is just, and the nurse is always the dom. Yeah. In the whole thing. Right. The the, the maid <laughs> is more submissive. I, I, I don't fucking think the nurse is sexy ow. whatsoever. I, I just hate costumes because it's just so stupid. I know. It is dumb. I, but I do like Halloween when the girls dress up and look all sexy and hot and shit. But the role playing, I who could buy into that it's shit? Dumb. What are you supposed to say now? Oh, great. It's time for you to check my gout. Well, well it's not sexy. No. Well, I'll uh, I'll show you my hemorrhoid now. Yeah, let me uh, let me bend over and uh, show you my roids. It's all about ass play. Yeah, but it's all ass play, and it would, the, the nurse outfit. But regular my nurses don't ass. do any of that shit. No, it's first of all, some it's a creepy giant doc doctor. Nurses are giant black women <laughs> that come in the room. Mm -hmm, they check your blood pressure. They fucking uh, do whatever they're supposed to do, and then they walk the fuck out and and jibber jabber with the other ones behind the desk. 
That's so phony. What's yeah. she going to do? This one? Yeah. What's what, she going to well, do? And by the way, one joke has already been yeah, told. So. We're nine seconds in, and there's one joke. Let's see how sexy she this makes this nurse thing. This guy is saying I'm wrong. Hold on, Ant. Right. Uh, Evan, go ahead in Syracuse. Uh, yeah, I backpacked through Europe, OB, and uh, the, the French maids, I stayed at this youth hostel. They actually do use that uniform. They like would come in and make the bed. Where? Pay $30 a week. Where? North of uh, uh, France. Well, who the Paris, fuck Paris. goes to France? That's right. I'm talking about the, the good old U, USA. USA. Oh, some Mexican girl's going to come in. <laughs> yeah, right. You take out the vacuum, and you're going to look like, yeah, With baby. a wide ass. That's what yeah. we get, wide ass Mexicans. We don't get good maids here. This but... guy goes to north of France. I've never been to France. That's right. But we don't get good nurses either. And like I said, the nurse just to me evokes this feeling of, of there's illness, there's uh, impending uh, pain and, and, and something bad. You're not Needles. healthy. Yeah, it's not good. Enemas. So, yeah. So what's she going to say of... that's sexy in that dumb nurse outfit? Nurse equals ass play. Nurse equals ass play. And role playing. Right. Uh, French maid equals? Equals bent over going, oh, monsieur. Mm -hmm. oh. And then you, as, you're, as you're just banging her from behind. She's like feather dustering the piano. And a stupid <laughs> French maid hat falls off. Yeah, yeah, you knock it off her head. <laughs> that frilly fucking, what is it called, taffeta something, a skirt. You just lift that shit up and just blah, fucking banging. <laughs> Have you ever role played? Never. I haven't either. I've role played. I've role played <laughs> that I was fucking a woman I was no longer in love with and wanted a divorce. <laughs> it was a fantastic role play. It didn't last long. I did try Turned into something I like to call reality. I did try the licorice uh, panties once. I, Holy shit. And nothing, I looked good nothing better them, than that. Oh, oh, you were wearing, <laughs> them. Oh, wearing them. them. And, oh, those fucking and, candy panties that are fruit roll-ups that I, just look like diapers. I was in my uh, I was in my 20s, and uh, and this this thing melted off the girl because she was so fucking, you know, turned on. Sweaty and, and, and goopy. Yeah. A little goopage coming out. Yeah, nothing better than eating and, a... Bad stale fruit roll, roll up with vag discharge in it. My girlfriend at the time, we thought it'd be a good idea to try this, and I brought the fucking little box home, and she puts them on. She looked ridiculous. Of course she did. And then like before, don't fit. before we even got started, it was just melting off her because she was in heat basically. Like, get that fucking thing off. <laughs> just <laughs> take it the <laughs> fuck what? off. And then it just fucking stained our the sheets at oh, the time course. and the pillowcase and everything else. Ooh, one size sexy. fits all. How it could panties sucks. be one size fits yeah. all? So why doesn't someone make that shit where you go, holy fuck, that looks like real panties and yeah, you can real eat it? panties. Nice. And, they eat it. and meanwhile, There's what are you eating? You fucking there chewing. What are you, Costanza in bed? You're just chewing. <laughs> it's not, that's terrible. Shouldn't be chewing in bed. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. So she's in the uh, hot nurse outfit. I don't know. He's interested. He's interested. Is that a joke? Yeah, it counts. That's two. <clears throat> yeah. That is, really? The delivery is, is considered a laugh. Anytime you hear that laugh track button be pushed, okay. consider it a joke. Am I? <laughs> counts as two. What is he doing? He's trying to now role play. He's coming on to her like, oh, there's a nurse in my apartment. How did this happen? <laughs> well, I wonder what she's going to do. Oh, she's pulling out an enema, and she's going to shove it in my <laughs> asshole. Great. Make me uh, shit. Yeah, go. make me shit. How sexy. Yes, you are. Anniversary boy. I'm going to need you to sign in. <laughs> I'm not even close to turned on by this. And I guess his whole role in this is to be turned on by her talk, right? Yeah, I guess it's their anniversary of some sort. So uh, fucking open up your asshole. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> she should have opened. Show yeah, it. the door should have opened. She should have been totally nude, spreading her ass cheeks apart so you could see what she had for yesterday's dinner. Right. You know, <laughs> right. And he'd be like, well, oh, now that's a hole I want to stick my cock in. And then he does that. And then he does it. And yeah. uh, it's a great anniversary. Not this sign in. Sign in. She's a nurse. She got the dumb hat on with the bobby pins holding it in. It's taking too long. Yes, yes it is. Entirely too long. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'll sign in. <laughs> oh, 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 he oh, ran wait, over. Ooh. Now, look. He ran over to fucking go. He goes, yeah, I'll sign in. He runs over to give her a hug and start the sexual content. But 
she put her hand up and pushed him away because she's not done with her fantasy yet. Her <laughs> fantasy <laughs> is not complete. Nice. She's thought out this fantasy. <laughs> Yuck. All right. Get to the ah, fucking. Oh, Mr. Miller. Gonna need your insurance car. I get it. She's playing it off like a real doctor's office where it's not oh, sexy. Oh, I see. The goof is. Social commentary. Oh, right. she's going to blow it by this is all the stuff we actually have to deal yeah, with. Yeah, yeah. See, the sexy nurse oh. thing. She's talking sexily. The music is sexy. She's she's kind of moving around the sexy. It's uh, The top is unbuttoned down uh, her cleavage. Oh, Yet instead right. of getting right into it and being like, well, I instead think. Instead of getting right into the ass play. Right, the ass play. Something should be in his dick hole right now. Oh, but so, no, she's oh, yeah. playing it the other way. She should have a catheter in there. <laughs> right. And she should be blowing his balls up like a fucking hippity hop. <laughs> And 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 now she's playing it off like <laughs> this is what happens when you really go to the doctor. See, oh, it's a turnabout wow. thing. We're, it's a turnabout humor thing. We don't have skills that, that makes it that funny. Match this. No, this we is don't. brilliant shit. We man. don't. Brilliant. Don't. Brilliant. She's giving her an imaginary um, insurance card. Oh, insurance card. I think that's. Oh, what I thought it was doing. just a handshake. All right, and and tell. is she gonna be like? That's not how you hand over an insurance. And then is she card. gonna is she gonna look and go? I'm sorry, we don't accept this yes. insurance. But, with some kind of copay joke, but, perhaps. But, but I'll accept that in my ass. Yes, <laughs> nothing she, funnier she, than a copay joke. Well, it's coming. <laughs> Come on, do it for real. <laughs> oh, she's getting upset that he's not part of the the fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> The vines. Yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, Dr. Uh... Quinn. Medicine, medicine woman. woman. Wow, medicine woman it. joke. That's By the terrific way, in the year 2011. That bitch totally unbelievable. blew off Opie's Holy mom shit. in the elevator. Why did you have to bring that up? I don't know. Now I'm oh, even mad. You're mad about yeah. Dr. Quinn. I'm already mad about a few things that I'm trying to keep to myself. <laughs> Are and you gonna now, be able to now the fucking uh, medicine woman, Doctor Quinn, medicine woman might just make everything spill out in an ugly, a... ugly tidal wave. What a biatch! What a cunt! Oh boy, where were we again? Uh, Phil Donahue, I think, in the elevator. All oh, right, right. And she was going up to something else, and we just happened to get in. Whoa, uh, a special elevator with the fucking medicine woman. Yeah, and it's just me, my mom, and f what's her name? Dr. Quinn Medicine Dr. Woman. Quinn Dr. Quinn Medicine Quinn. Woman. And my mom's like, <laughs> it wasn't even a picture because back then I think you just got autographs. I, and I think we had some, I forgot what we had, but she just wanted her to sign something. Yeah. She goes, no. No. And then it's an awkward elevator ride with us three. Now you just, <laughs> so when's your uh, show getting canceled? <laughs> Pretty soon, huh? Mm. Yeah. No, nah, I went another fucking 10 years probably. Yeah, probably did. And I was a wimp back then, so I said nothing. I just sat there. Okay, Dr. Quinn. Uh, Is this go. your floor, Dr. Quinn? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> medicine woman? <laughs> yes, medicine woman. We just said that. But it well, wasn't as funny when we said it. No, <laughs> Those we, laughs didn't no, come. No, we said it as it's as not like, funny. Right. Not as uh, I can't believe they're going there. Right. But the nostalgia that that conjures up with the audience, you got to say, you know, they've probably been like, oh, I used to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> they're not going for a young audience that has yeah. no idea what they're talking about. Yes. Right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure that uh, Dr. Quinn uh, has my info already. I doubt it. I'm going to need you to have a seat and fill out these forms. <laughs> See, again, exactly what you go through in the doctor's office. You're expecting him to walk in and have a fantasy <laughs> where it involves some ass play with dick bag. And something and, in his dick hole. And, and this whole fantasy, fantasy, fantasy is yeah. turning into what amounts to an actual visit to a doctor's office. This chick is crazy. But that's where the fun is, Aunt. Right. That's where the laughs are. The laughs are the fact that she, she, you she expected flipped this one thing. thing. She flipped it. You expected one thing. Uh-huh. And look where it went. You're getting something else. Right. <laughs> He's disgusted. He's sitting down. He's filling out the paperwork. Do 
was like 10 pages. So he was very aggravated. And that was, uh, you know what? That was it. I'm going to tell you this, though. The f- people will enjoy that scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everybody's going to be honest been, here. Everyone's been to the doctor. But everyone's people had are to go going to that enjoy shit. that scene. I just can't be bothered with that shit. Well, they that were, same sitcom shit. They're also going for quantity as they averaged uh, one joke per 10 seconds in Holy that clip. Shit. Really? <laughs> yeah. how, how many jokes total? It was 11 plus the laugh at the end. Yeah. I mean, kind of 12. Wow. So in 110 seconds, you're looking at a. No one, per no joke one wants to laugh that much. No. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with Holly. Uh oh. What? You booked Whitney. Uh oh. She has another show too. What, what the, the fuck <laughs> is wrong with your voice now? I don't know. What is wrong with you? I don't know. Wait, your eyes were all fucked up, and you were wearing sunglasses. <laughs> oh, you had those fucking Oakleys. Oakleys on. I, I, uh, what is wrong with your voice? My allergies. I'm uh, losing the voice. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds hilarious. I, my allergies. You know, I feel like shit today too. Is there? Is, is it allergies? Yeah, my eyes are itching yeah. like it's crazy. The worst of the year. You don't really sound this way. You know whose glasses you had on yesterday? Remember in Caddyshack when Denunzio was by the pool and oh, took yeah. the glasses off? Right on. <laughs> That's what you looked like yesterday. <laughs> 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 Ah, uh, yeah. Now the glasses are off. Yeah. Your eyes are still a little watery and red like a, like a Not, fucking hound dog or something. Yeah. And now it now went down to your voice. You know, yeah. I, I think people owe me uh, a thank you, especially Jimmy. And maybe you too, Ed. Yeah. When he came in with that horrendous eye, I marched him into a doctor's office yeah. <laughs> and said, get your fucking eye checked before we all get pink eye. Did you go to a doctor? Yeah. And yeah. what did they he do? Said, they take a culture? Um, it turned out to yeah, be just allergies. Yeah, he checked the eye and everything. He said, you just have a really bad case. Of, you have allergies. Wow, you sound like shit. Yeah. Right. How, are, are, you, are you trying to book people? Like, are you on the phone going, hi, it's rolling. Yeah, they said, we'll call. I said, hey, don't what? call. And they go, hey, what's up? I'm like, hi. I'm like, what hi, the fuck? Rolling. I, yeah. I think it's brilliant. I think he's setting up a, a little Friday off for Something's everybody. Something's going. Because you like got to start that shit on Thursday. We all know that. We all know how that shit works. You got to start that yes. shit on a Thursday. Mr. E-Rock. Yesterday afternoon, I'm hearing Roland on the phone, and he'll be in the middle of a conversation, and you see how raspy his voice is. But as he's trying to talk longer, his voice just kind of disappears. It went away. So he has to pause, reset, and repeat everything he just said to the oh, people. All right, that, with that said, let's have him read a story. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but when he has another show, that's not that good either. What? Uh, but she's not on it. No, she's not on it. She created it and uh, oh. produced it. Whitney. Whitney? Yeah, they another show this fall. She's got two shows? It's called Two Broke Girls on CBS. Two Broke Girls. Wait, she's doing a show for CBS and NBC? She's just yeah. a creator. How the yeah. fuck that happened? She she's really not, is. She's not on the CBS show. She just creates. And produced. Uh, and you know, produces. Uh, as far as that type of sitcom shit goes, it'll probably do okay. I gotta tell you. I just don't I'm, like it. I'm saying nice ass, nice legs on her. I'm gonna give her that, and not not ugly. Uh, yeah, I won't watch it. Wait, unfunny as we're fuck. We're all feeling kind of shitty, and the Ron and Fez, uh, Ron and Fez guy has mono. Yeah. Stupid Mark Zito. What are the signs of mono? You feel uh, very tired, achy. achy. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Sore throat, malaise. My, my throat's not Little sore. malaise. I have a uh, malaise. General malaise. Yeah. Yes. I have the lyrics to Time to Change if you want Roland to read something. I believe I have the melancholy. <laughs> <laughs> Roland rolls. Roland rolls. Uh, Roland. rolls. You want to read this? Which one? Fuck the Shana Na Park. All right. When are you getting glasses? You know he can't see shit. He can no. barely see your face. I know. And he walks up. around like this. When are you yeah, getting glasses? You see your mustache. I'm like, where's Anthony? <laughs> I know. He didn't know it was me. I thought it was a guest. All right. Read the uh, read the time to change. Sure. Autumn turns to winter, and winter turns to spring. <laughs> it doesn't go just for seasons, you know. It goes for everything. <laughs> The same is true for voices when boys begin to grow. You gotta take a lesson from Mother Nature, and if you do, you'll know. When it's time to change, then it's time to change. Don't fight the die. (laughs) (laughs) Come along for the ride, don't you see? It's (laughs) (laughs) It's gone. When the 
it's time to change. You've got to rearrange. You are you are into what you're <clears throat> gonna be. Sha na 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 Sha na 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 Sha na 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 Wow, it sounds exactly like it. It really does. Bravo, Roland. That was it? Oh, yeah. What do you want? The whole song? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I want the time to change part again. Oh, God. All right. Day by day, it's hard to see the changes. You've been through a little bit of leaving, a little bit of growing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, see, that's why I wanted the second mm. one. I knew, the, I knew the cough was coming. <laughs> All adds up to you. Every boy is a man inside. <laughs> a girl's a woman, too. And if you want to reach your destiny, <clears throat> here's what you got to do. I don't trust you one turn, and what to trust you spring. <laughs> His voice is now gone. It doesn't go just for seasons, you know. It goes for everything. <laughs> <laughs> you can't talk. The same is true for voices when boys begin to grow. You gotta take a lesson from Mother Nature. And if you do, you'll die. -na -na. <laughs> you can't do the Shananas. You can't do the Shananas anymore. <laughs> he totally <laughs> lost this voice. Do the Shananas. <laughs> Clear your throat. <laughs> When you can't even clear your throat, Holy when you can't go, uh, uh, when it goes, when it comes out like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wow, you're a disaster. Wow, I know that's bad. All right, well, I, I would suggest you take the rest of the day off. Yeah, and tomorrow you got to rest that voice, Roland. You're very important to the show. You know, a certain uh, supervisor, as they like to call him, someone who believes uh, they're uh, in a supervisory position, yeah, is out of town today. Uh huh. So, yeah, we don't have bosses. We have supervisors. So, we could probably fucking just all of us bolt on out of here. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, my voice doesn't feel that great right I'm now. I'm feeling a little fucked up here. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, you my voice is. I'm feeling a little lightheaded. I'm, I'm, it's scratchy. Somebody's got to do the show tomorrow. I'm fucking That's feeling a... lightheaded. <laughs> I'll listen to the Are you replay. Guys okay? You hear that, Sam? Because I won't be up good. until uh, three. Are they all right? Nah, I, I, they don't sound good. I think they need to rest. Did Same. you? What was going on with my eyes this morning, uh, Iraq? You saw it, right? I was, I was rubbing, right? Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. And very my watery, eyes watery kind of red, red. Using and, drops. And listen to this. Yeah, That's my nose. Ahead. It's very stuffy, and I'm feeling kind of. Well, uh, we left the toilet sense. paper over there, so if I you know, need to blow I your nose. I know. There's toilet paper what there if, for me. I'll tell you this much: I'm going to be sick a lot until this company takes care of me. You know, well, then you're going to be fucking sick a lot. I'm going to be <laughs> sick a lot. If this studio was contaminated, people with mono tend to have to take two weeks off work. I know. Yeah. Mm, that I means know. I'll take three. <laughs> well, I hear you. I don't know if you have mono. Well, if the average person takes two, I'll take three. Wait a minute. Mono makes you tired? I'm exhausted. Oh, my gosh. Holy shit, am I tired. Oh, my God. Oh, <sighs> wow. This isn't normal for a... Oh, God. I haven't yawned in years. Why are you rubbing your throat? Is it <sighs> scratchy? It is? It is. A scratchy throat, <sighs> runny nose, eyes are watery, How are and the joints? I feel my throat. I'm achy. Little achy. No, 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 no. Little achy. No, no. I'm really achy. Oh, no. And what did I tell you when I came in today? I'm like, man, it's hot in here today, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. You said, is it hot in here? Or am oh, I my gosh. Crazy? The AC is blowing. I'm chilly. I'm fucking warm, man. No, the oh, achy no. might have been the hour and a half fucking barbell workout I did yesterday. <laughs> but, Still, you know, it could, it could it's be. It's a symptom. Uh, yeah, it really does hurt. Wow. I need I need oh, my temperature no. taken. Do we have any of those fucking thermometers? Ah, yeah, oh, we should get a thermometer. Rectal? Rectal. Well, if With we have to, sure. dressed in a nurse's not? uniform? Well, if we have to. <laughs> yeah. You know. For the show. For the show. For, for the show. For the show. For, for the show. All right, we're going to break, I guess. Roland, yeah, I, I, I hope your voice me. is okay. Thank you. I, I, want, I want to start by saying something. Uh, of course, I'll, I'll sit here and let you say... Congratulations for your Yankees. No, I don't oh. care. I don't care. Is about it a thank you for my overall contribution? Is the show well? That certainly too could that should be, be <laughs> could be something we should talk about for three hours. You're right. Yeah. I just want to say to the people that are just hating on Whitney Cummings, you just don't know comedy. Is that what you it is? You just don't know comedy. 
So get over yourselves. Stop hating. Stop hating Stop Whitney Cummings. Stop participating. That's what I say. NBC orders full season of Whitney. Wow, do they love this girl. See? You Does guys just don't some... know comedy. You don't know funny. Does she know? Has she really perfected the Jedi mind trick? Does she walk into executives? Mm, you know what? You're hating. You'll You're give hating. Me, give me a TV show. You're hating. And let me produce one. You're, 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 you're drinking some of that haterade, man. I'm telling you, this chick knows fucking comedy. Uh, we got to give her a TV show. And let me produce another one. All right, let her produce another one. See? See, you're, you're continuing. Move along. See? See okay, what you're doing? Move along. See what you're doing? Yeah. Am you're I just, hating? You're hating. You just don't understand comedy. You don't understand sitcoms. You don't understand network TV. I thought it just, just showed that I understand, understand funny. Star Wars. <laughs> That's all I was trying to <laughs> Yes. Yep, NBC has ordered a full season of Whitney, everyone. You know, I'll give you one thing. Yep. She's, she's kind of cool to look at. Ah, not really. You don't think so? Just because a girl isn't chubby doesn't mean she's, you know, fuckable. No, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying she's amazing, amazing. I think people get tricked in when they look at a girl and she's in good shape. They think, oh, wow, look how hot she is. No, that's yeah. a starting point. And then you got to look at all the shit. The, the, the tit-to-ass ratio, the face, well, the when eyes. She, when she was doing that horrid uh, bit on her show uh, where she dressed like a nurse. Yeah. Um, at one point, she kind of bends over a little bit, and uh, the ass ain't too bad. She kind of, she's kind of pretty. Wait, she looks pretty good right there. Yeah, <laughs> wait, like, wait a minute. I Whitney can't, is very fuckable. Wait a I minute. Can't, I can't sit here and say she's not a, a fuckable girl. Yeah. The picture I'm looking at, she's really fuckable. Wow. All right. All right. And her vibe. Okay, Her then. vibe is very, very sexy. Sec very sexy. Really? Yeah. She, she, she seems like when you look at her... I don't know how if she comes off sexy on film, but when you're talking to her, mm -hmm. she has that uh, she has that very very sexual yeah. vibe. You just you feel it coming off her. It's it's hard not to be attracted to her. Mm. Let me take a look. You yeah. got a Google image and do an overall here, because anyone can take a good picture. I have proven that over the years. Um, Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, I'll tell you that no, she's she's good looking. I could say the show ain't funny. I could say it's a you don't know a, it's a not si funny. You never sat through it. What? You're a hater. Oh no, let me tell you something, my friend. I sat through the premiere oh, you episode. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, we watched some clips of it here on this very program, which if I you remember enjoyed, on the interviews. Which I enjoyed, <laughs> and I, of course we all did. Yes. Uh, she's magic. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I watched it on the uh, the television set. And what I saw was, uh, you know, your typical sitcom -y garbage. But she, she looked good. I think, I think it's got to be said. I, I guess she's, she's, I guess she's a funny uh, comic. Okay. Yeah. It, this shit is just not my cup of tea, or or any of our cups of tea, right? Uh, I hate this sitcom -y shit that they've been doing forever. No, and there's so many of them this season. Like, the, oh, they're going back. They're, they're going backwards a little bit. They're trying to go back to the. The sitcom -y thing, but with all the dumbness and We're, political correctness, but uh, not edgy, really. Well, Trying that, to be edgy, but not. Well, these sitcoms, they stress me out because everything's like, joke, 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 do as many jokes. They no, allowed the, the show setup. itself to just breathe. Have a setup for your story without everything every, everything that's being set up have to be a joke. I'm doing a Jim Norton here right now because he would do this perfectly. Joke, 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 joke. That is where most sitcoms lose any realistic feeling is they don't have any yes. real any real interactions. It just right. feels like. It's just not real. Like, I was sitting and watching the uh, her show and, and saying... No one talks like this. And I'm not saying that it should be a realistic depiction of life because, you know, most of the time it ain't funny and uh, it's not entertaining and people are stupid. But uh, just something. Yeah, I, uh, that's yeah. a little realistic. Basically, let, let the show itself breathe. Let the characters breathe. I don't even know what the characters are because they're too busy doing their joke, 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 joke thing. When, when they when a character walks in the door or they go to a bar and one of their ensemble cast characters walks in, 
and you know exactly what that character is going to do every fucking episode. Mm -hmm. Within the first minute you see them on on camera, right? You know it's just ugh. All right, this guy. Oh, he always talks about the chicks and having to get laid, and oh boy, and every <laughs> time, every. Word but, out of his mouth is some, hey, look at the tits on her. Oh, All right. So you're pointing out very obvious stuff. That yeah. My point is this. Why don't we get it? Uh, why aren't we just accepting this? Because we're jaded and... Um, why isn't our audience in general, they don't accept this shit? She's in the shower, and if the guy wasn't in there, that would be pretty hot. But uh, we're looking at Whitney. It's a clip of them in the shower. Yeah. There's kind of nothing wrong with her. I can't even... I'm not talking about the show. I'm talking about like her in general. That's a selfish motherfucker right there. He's taking up all the water. You don't do that if you yeah, shower with somebody. Yeah, this is somebody. crazy. And now we're looking through the shower curtain. It looks like some wacky sexual thing is going on. But right. meanwhile, uh, it's like she's fighting for her life in there. Well, she's probably... Oh, there's the opener. Oh, Whitney. She's... She's fucking doing a little piggyback ride with her boyfriend. I don't want to confuse people. She seems like she's funny, but... This sitcom crap, I, I I just can't watch. No, you know, it's hard to watch sitcoms as as a as a, a, a I guess a, a genre, if you want to say, yeah. with reality TV because reality TV shows real interactions. Even if it's assisted reality, like Family Jewels, they show you I still, but they still show you it's more realistic. Right, the way people communicate as opposed to always being uh, cadence. I I, a, I don't agree with that, Jimmy. No, I think assisted reality and reality. Is phonier than a lot of these fucking sitcoms. It, it's 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 ninety hours for every fucking ten minutes yeah, that true. they show, edited to make something look like it happened. You never hear one reality star after a show is over say, "Well, that was a real accurate depiction of what really happened uh, during the show." It's like, "Oh boy, that wasn't even there." Wow. Or they twist it around there. They're using facial reactions from when they were we were in a meeting. Yeah. And and now they're using it like and then they do a slow motion thing to make it look dramatic. A lot of it's the, it's all phony. A lot of these guys go, uh, "They fucked me in the editing." We've heard that yeah. a million times. A million times. Then yeah. maybe I should say it's it's the 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 human interaction, not necessarily the storylines, because there's not all. When you look at reality TV, it's hurt sitcoms because, um, hey, what's it's what, cheap? <laughs> it's really cheap, yeah. and it, it is just people talking without. Okay, maybe because there's no laugh track, or maybe because right. everything isn't uh, that that joke, that that joke, that that joke. Like like it doesn't have the cadence of a sitcom. Right. And I think maybe that's where it hurts sitcoms. Yeah. Let me say hi to Jess in yep. Maine, who's abroad. Uh, broad, what do you got for the show? We got abroad. We got a broad on the line. No broad. Oh. <laughs> Is it Jesse? It, on, on the yeah. screen it says, your name's Jesse? Yeah. Oh, oh boy. That's different. That must have been rough in school. Oh. Jesse could go either way, man. Yeah. I know some uh, females that are Jesse. Ken. All what right, you, girl name. What's what, up? <laughs> yeah, what do you got, buddy? <laughs> girl name. No, I said you don't get it because you're not a broad. Well, I think you can't have a show on NBC if you're just going for one uh, sex. So yeah. that means a lot of guys are enjoying Whitney. They have to be enjoying it. And that's, I, I'm driving in this morning thinking, what's wrong with us that we don't enjoy this shit? Why are we so fucking jaded? Why do we need more from our entertainment on TV? All the PC correctness bullshit. I wouldn't say she's PC though. Honestly, I, I would. Got a little say, edge to her. Yeah, I wouldn't nah, say she's nah. PC at all. Uh, that shower scene's very edgy. They've never done that in sitcoms. It looked like she was bent over getting it in the ace. Oh yeah. You could only hope. Uh, yeah. I haven't actually watched. I mean, while the viewers either. were. Yeah. <laughs> See because yeah. yeah. Of <laughs> I haven't watched it, but I tell you, it will. It will. There's no way they're just pulling it because they spent a lot of money on it. There's a lot of money in the advertising of it. There's no sure. way they're not giving it a full season. Yeah. And oh, she'll get man. viewers, too. She'll actually get a lot of viewers. I, I suspect that uh, that show is going to be one of those shows that, that lasts for a while and does very well. Yeah. I think Whitney's going to uh, do very well for herself. Has the writing gotten any edgier on TV? Because I, I literally haven't watched any. any. I've seen a, a be five minutes of Whitney. Always Sunny's very it. edgy. Maybe it's gotten a little Always edgier. Always Sunny's extreme. I think you would like Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Always Sunny's Maybe. good. I heard it's good. Now, now, your big networks, your Fox, your Modern CBS, Family does the racist jokes. Your You're NBC, right. things like that. They enjoy a good black joke. No, they also enjoy the good Asian jokes. And too. Asian jokes? Yeah. yeah. Those stupid. They're fans. trying very hard, network television, to uh, compete with things like FX right. and these things. So they're kind of trying to throw in this edginess. Maybe. But it's still, you could tell. 
There's network executives that are just castrating these shows.